don't think you're gonna really see it. It's filthy. It got really dusty this last week. And it's all clean. Much better. So lately I've been hanging out with a group of guys that were all Tesla guys. We all got Teslas and it's actually been a lot of fun. But I know what you're thinking. Ha! Huh, nerd! And you'd be right. <laughs> it is pretty nerdy. But I don't really care because it's been a lot of fun. One thing is, is that Teslas don't really get taken seriously in the car community. Which doesn't really make sense to me, but it is what it is. So with this group, we kind of are doing our own thing, and it's been a lot of fun. And so I've kind of decided to make a vlog series for all the Tesla stuff that I've been doing lately, because it's been quite a bit. There's a lot of really cool cars in this group that I think you guys might want to see and check out. So that's kind of what this is going to be. It's going to be episode one of a Tesla vlog. But yeah, that's the plan. So... I live there's four charging options one obviously tesla supercharger two there's charge point which i think is more widely known and three there's flow which i think is equally as known and then the final one is the bc hydro which is our local service um supercharging which is really cool but flow and bc hydro both use in a different um connection the ccs adapter and this is the one I picked up off of Amazon. There was a couple options. This one's a little bit more expensive, but it came with a nice case. As well as coming with this case, it also comes with a spot to put your other adapter if you do happen to have one of these adapters that come with the charging kit when you get the car, or I do believe they come when you buy the kit separate now, because that's how they are. It also comes with this locking ring uh, for the original charger, so people can't disconnect your... Uh, your charger. So I picked one up today actually, it just came in and I'm gonna test it here. From my understanding too, the f um, charge point service is linked with BC Hydro and Flow. They all talk to each other. So I should be able to use my account on charge point on Flow. We're gonna find that out. Okay, it's a little confusing because uh, the Flow doesn't use the app to tap. You have to have a card to tap, but you can find this charger on the actual app and then start the charging. It kept saying it was timing out, but it is currently working. It is charging the car. So I guess it works. And this actually is a, a supercharger too. So cool. All right. The next one now is a couple blocks away. There's a BC Hydro charger I'm gonna try and see if it works with this. Okay, I'm at the charger. It, it's another day because the previous day was raining, so I couldn't really show anything. So. And today's a little better too, because my state of charge in the car is at like 20%, so I can actually see the speeds with this adapter. Okay, so here's the tricky part now. I gotta find the charger that I'm actually at. BC1019, it's 20, so 19, available. Start charging. Combo. Okay, according to the app, it is charging. Um, it didn't time out from the other app before. The only thing is this is a fast charger, which is fine, but I didn't precondition my batteries, so it is doing that. This charging station is also way better for actually describing everything you need, because it says here by app with one of the three apps, or by card only with the two companies, not the charge point. So that's good to know it actually has information at this one. But yeah, so far this process of actually using um, like a government charger or a BC Hydro charger for my case is a lot more annoying with a Tesla than it should be because the Tesla superchargers are just so easy to use comparably. But uh, yeah, overall it works though, so that's good. Okay, I've reached my 40% uh, um, that I wanna get to. So what I learned last time too is you gotta stop the charging in the car when you're not using a Tesla supercharger. Um, so stop charging, unlock port. Well, this experience at this charger, it, it works fine. Um, it's fairly inexpensive, but it's not designed for a Tesla at all. 
uh, everything's on the wrong side, which is annoying. Hopefully they're not all like this. The premise behind this too is I'm gonna be doing a trip in like uh, next month or whatever that I will re be required to use the BC Hydro Chargers to make it to my destination. So, you know, I got the adapter and making sure it works. And I figured I would uh, document this to see how it goes. Cause maybe who knows, like maybe three, four years down the road, this, this process feels better and improved. My experience today with charging on a non Tesla charger was a little bit of a mixed bag. Um, yes, it does work. You can figure it out. It's not incredibly difficult, but it's not unified, right? Like when you go fill up your car with gas, it's almost the same for every single vehicle but electric cars have ports in different spots all over the place and one charger may not be suitable location-wise. Example, where I was parked today at that BC Hydro Charger, the way I was situated, I would have prevented another car potentially from using the other side of the charging because I had to take the cord around to my location. So things like that, you know, it's not perfect. I understand that and uh, I can see that being difficult for people wanting to get into electric, but I think that'll change over time. I think they'll figure it out and uh, and you might see every company on the same page as far as how they do charging because that's kind of the biggest hurdle when it comes to electric. I will have links down below for that adapter if you're interested in picking it up. It just came off Amazon, um, pretty quick delivery too actually, and it works as advertised, can't complain. So yeah, it seems like a good one. And I'm going to try to do these videos possibly weekly over the summer here. Um, yeah, it's fun and uh, there's some cool stuff coming up that I'm going to want to share so that you guys can see some cool Tesla stuff because uh, these cars are cool and I think they get a bad rep and let's, let's try to change that. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. This was fun. Yeah, later.